The GTR is the ultimate e-skate when you're looking for versatility. In this episode of The Insider, we're putting the carbon and the bamboo head to head to see what the differences are and what they mean for you. Before we start, we have another video called Which Evolved Board is Best? It goes into depth on wheel choices, battery sizes, and the stoke. So make sure you check it out. If you've already settled on a GTR and you're trying to figure out which deck is right for you, then this video is the one to watch. There isn't one correct answer. That's why we made two boards, but let's jump into all the info you need to make an informed decision. First things first, the two boards look completely different. The carbon is handmade from carbon fiber sheets. It is a sleek matte finish and a full hex grip pattern. The bamboo deck is three ply bamboo, two ply fiberglass with a raw bamboo finish and utilizes both traditional and spray on grip. Both boards use the same electronic system. So speed, power and range are identical. The wheels, trucks, gears and remote are all the same too. The electronics of the two boards have two different configurations that make them fit the decks. The bamboo has an external case that bolts to the bottom of the deck, while the carbon houses everything internally and is accessed from the top cover. The carbon board has the power button and charge port at the back end of the deck. The bamboo, on the other hand, has them on either side of the battery case, which allows room for USB ports and can power our LED prism strips. Because the battery sits within the carbon deck, it's just 40 millimeters thick, while the bamboo is 60 millimeters. The carbon is lighter of the two boards, weighing in at 9.8 kilograms on a 97 millimeter street setup versus the bamboo, which is 10.3 kilograms. The carbon is also longer of the two decks by five centimeters, although the actual width of the rider stance is much the same. The carbon has a wheelbase of 94 centimeters. The bamboo features an adjustable wheelbase, allowing you to match it to the carbon or shorten it to 91 centimeters. A shorter wheelbase means you can make sharper carbs and tighter turns. Having the option to adjust this on the bamboo wheelbase adds a few extra bonus points. So what do each of the boards feel like to ride? The most notable difference is the bamboo board has a flex, much like a traditional longboard. The deck has what some riders describe as a bounce or a pop, which can act as a dampener for the bumps. The bamboo has a sweet, satisfying feeling when carving, helping you smoothly link turns. When set up with a shorter wheelbase, your turns are snappier when carving. If you're into sliding, you're probably gonna find the bamboo much easier to throw around. The carbon deck is completely rigid with the only movement coming from the trucks. Some riders find this gives a much more predictable and responsive ride, so it's viewed as the better choice for stability. We tend to use this for our race boards because of how well they handle high speeds and rougher terrain. The bigger and heavier you are, the more you're gonna make the bamboo flex. Generally speaking, we recommend heavier riders go for the carbon board as it's a bit more consistently stable. The bamboo has a concave design, meaning the edges are raised to lock in your toe and your heel. This provides an edge to push on while carving in and out of turns. The carbon deck utilizes a drop down, so it locks in your feet front and back. This is especially good for hard acceleration and braking when riding bumpy or hilly terrain and by lowering your center of gravity. Stability is also increased. Each board is super capable of what the other can do. Full speed on the bamboo feels great, while well, carving on the carbon is pretty fun too. It all comes down to personal preference. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, let's hear from some other riders on why they choose to ride bamboo or carbon. What's going on guys? Here we are again with the age old debate of what's better, the bamboo GTR or the carbon GTR. I definitely prefer the bamboo GTR. You have that flexi deck when you're hitting potholes in New York City and give a little suspension. You have these extra deep flares on the edge of the board here to lock your feet in. It's a little bit longer than the carbon, so it's a little bit more room for dancing if you want to walk around the board a little bit. Um, but definitely, those are the reasons why I prefer the bamboo over the carbon. Bamboo, carbon, bamboo, carbon. Well, you see it already. I'm gonna go with the carbon any day, and that is for two reasons. It's much more stable because of the stiffness of the deck, so that allows you to go really fast, cornering with a lot of security. And also, if you like going off-road a lot, like I do, the pockets in the front end and in the back end, they prevent your foot from sliding off the board if you're going down steep hills, for example. 
So I ride the Bamboo GTR over the Carbon GTR because I prefer the original wooden skateboarding feel. And I also love the flex of the deck and how this feels underfoot as you're going through corners. I'm riding on Bamboo GTR. I love it for flex, higher concave, design and much more. It gives me that classic longboard feeling, uh, better control about the board. If you lightweight rider like me, you should definitely choose Bamboo DTR. The lovely bamboo, or the carbon. For sure, 100% carbon. It's the sexy carbon with the curves. Really let you let it dig in when you're riding hard. You brake and accelerate, and lean backwards and forwards. It's awesome, it gives you great control. With the six inch setup, by far the best. I would definitely go with the bamboo. With flex comes a deeper, more responsive carve, and a super comfortable ride long distance. I usually use my carbon fiber deck when I want to race and have lots of speed. Uh, and I use the bamboo when I want to chill, to slide. So I use the two bars for two different kinds of rides. I mean, check out this guy right here. I was able to strip this board down uh, from its bare bones. I hydro dipped it, I powder coated the trucks, and I threw some awesome graphic grip tape on there that was laser cut out. Uh, so yeah, the Carbon is my go-to board for every single ride that I do. The reason I chose the Bamboo over the Carbon is because I love the flexibility of the deck. I love to feel the flex of the deck while I'm carving, and I absolutely love the natural and raw look of the Bamboo. I actually prefer the Carbon more than the Bamboo, specifically because it's stiff, it's stable. When I'm on high speeds, it feels comfortable. When I was younger, my first longboard was Bamboo, which is why I went with the Bamboo GTR. It's the perfect mix of an old school longboard feel with the efficiency of having an electric board for the day to day. This one is actually a really hard call for me. Uh, competition wise, you'll see me on my carbon, off road on my carbon, but my go to board is this bad boy. This is my bamboo GTR. I absolutely adore this board, especially in the street setup. The bulletproof deck, stealth lines surgically predictable ride and jaw-dropping sleek goodness of the Carbon GTR is the only option. Carbon GTR all the way, baby.